Welcome to day nine of the Blizzard Buddies competitive group Ironman journey. We didn't get in a lot of group content today, but speaking for myself, today was a hugely productive day. I got a ton of big quests in, made some unlocks, and even got a crazy spoon broadcast. Enjoy the clips. All right, well, I was not recording because why would you record just chopping maples in the level 50s? But somehow I got my second pet on the account, got Woody at 177,000 XP, which, which I think that's even more spoon than the magic pet I got at Mole the other day. So <laughs> funny reaction by accident in the chat there. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. One skilling pet, one combat pet. Both under 60, I'm pretty sure. This account's gonna be golden when we get to Rago. I'm gonna get like a 35kc vit if this keeps up. All right, this is my first big goal of the day. I got lunar diplomacy done. So I've got myself lunar armor, got myself access to the lodestone and another rune shop, which is gonna be really big for my dailies. My money is really low right now, but once the money starts coming in, I'm gonna be able to start buying runes, making Vizuax every day consistently for the team. Speaking of which, I'll just buy a couple air runes and maybe, maybe mind or body runes. And I'll go make Vizuax now. Let's see how many we can get. Okay, we got the green rune first with mind runes. So that's nice. Hopefully the other two runes are friendly. We'll take we'll take a medium face for for the water runes. That seems reasonable. And it looks like none of these other elemental runes are doing all that good. But 60 viswax for today, not too shabby. It'll add up. So I want to do the penguin quest line, and for that you need one mahogany plank. So I, I went way out of my way to come do this carnelian quest that uh, rewards you with 10 planks. So that'll be useful for me, and I can also put a couple of these extra mahogany planks in the group storage for any of my teammates who want to do the same penguin quest line. It seemed like the easiest way to get mahogany planks early. I'm not sure if there are any other ways that don't involve getting the 60 woodcutting and whatnot. But yeah, reasonable, reasonable way to do it. Get myself another quest point, get myself some lamps, and get a handful of other planks, so not too bad. All right, I've forgotten just how funny these penguin quests really are. The logic, the puns, the overall concept, really, really funny. This is definitely the kind of thing that makes RuneScape RuneScape. Here we go, just head over to Larry over here and turn in the first penguin quest. I want to get these all done so that I can get my penguins done tonight before the weekly reset. And I'll get the advantage of having the polar bear point and the double points, and I think you also get like one extra penguin spawn available once you complete the whole quest line, or maybe it's the third quest, but in any event, there is Cold War done, and that puts me up to 50 agility as well, so very good. Look at all these quests that I can do now. Even the cutscenes in these quests are so silly, I love it. All right, after this cutscene should be the quest complete though. And do we get any levels? The XP on this one is pretty low, so probably not, but good quest. Hunt for the Red Rock Tuber is complete. You know of all the games that they have in the Birthorp games room, the ones that mimic uh, other popular games, like you got the Connect 4 with the runes and whatnot. How do they not have Battlefish in the Birthorp games room? This is a good mini game. And to think it's only just for this one quest, it's pretty funny. Feels a little bit silly though, whenever it's not actually random and you have the answers on the wiki, it would probably be more fun if it was an actual game of Battlefish. And that is going to be the third quest in the Penguin series completed for me. This one gives a lot of XP, so I'm expecting a couple levels here. Let's see. Some like it cold. 40,000 crafting and fishing. That's huge. Yep, look at all those levels. Puts me up to 70 fishing, so that's my second 70 skill as well. And a handful of other levels in the other skills, so really awesome. Just one more quest to go for the entire penguin line to be done. This quest was really funny too with, uh, with all the puns, just in the inventory items. Even though I'm space barring everything, I still see a lot of the puns out of the corner of my eye and whatnot. There we go. That was, I would say that was a productive day so far, getting the entire penguin series out of the way got a lot of xp from that got a handful of levels 
And when I do get invention unlocked, I'll be able to get a 10,000 invention XP lamp from here as well. So that'll jumpstart the invention a little bit on this account. What the? I did not know that getting PRs was a broadcast in the group Iron Man system. Got a KVD Reaper. That was my first kill. So that's interesting. Grandmaster time, he says. Yeah, pretty much. Almost a sub one minute. That's probably the Grandmaster time with this gear. In the middle of the Reaper, Accident reminded me that familiarization is going to be good to do. And since today is going to be the weekly reset, better to get it done now. And I've just about got my 60 shards, which should be some rune score. And I think Accident said he was going to go for the triple charms, which is very logical. I think I'm inclined to go for the ingredients and start working on the outfit piece. It's going to be like six weeks to get the full outfit. And I'll also get a few tertiaries by doing that. So it's hard to see which one is exactly better. But uh, I think long term, probably getting the outfit pieces early is going to be good for me. So I'm happy with my choice. Now I'm going to get back to finishing my Reaper. All right, we got to bust out the metamorphosis here. See if we can get that Grandmaster time with this gear. The sub one. Okay, even with the meta, it wasn't enough. That's unlucky. But that was the final kill my Reaper. And I think I'm going to get a Slayer level here. I sure am. There is 45 Slayer. Got to keep up with the Reapers. These are super good. All right, my next big goal of the day is to complete Recipe for Disaster in its entirety since I got 70 cooking the other day. Let's start by giving the goblins their slop of compromise. Hilariously disgusting sounding item. Here comes subquest number two of the day, freeing the mountain dwarf. Here I am back again. Gonna cook this Lumbridge cake. I always really like the look of this item, the little peppermint question mark. Somehow this item looks like it would be particularly delicious if it were real. But anyway, there is the Lumbridge Sage freed from the grasps of the Cullinomancer. All right, this one is gonna be big for a couple reasons. One, another sub quest, got my diving apparatus for future quests, and it's also 175 quest points, so if you look at my cash stack right now, I really need this quest dice here with the 500k. All right, gonna roll the dice here, see if we can't get a fortunate item as well. And we can, there we go. All right, there is subquest number five completed, freeing Scratch Ogogui. Lovely jubbly, as they say across the pond. All right, this is the big one here. I am saving ceramic bars for last because I had to grow my own sweet corn, but here we go. Freeing His Highness King Ewowogi at last. Assuming my sweet corns are fully grown, then this last mini quest should be a total breeze to complete. Hey, nice. We also got an agility level from that. All right, perhaps the most questionable quest in the game going to be completing Sir Alfred's Bar Crawl. Might be problematic how many quests support alcoholism in this game. I was thinking about it a couple days ago when I got that parrot drunk with those pineapple alco chunks for Edgar's Ruse quest. That was definitely questionable, but here we go. Sir Alfred's bar crawl is completed. That means I can do horror from the deep and then complete RFD once and for all. So I was cash time. And let's see, that gives me one level. Not too shabby. All right, let me give Ceramic Vaz his fancy creme brulee. And then that'll be all the recipe for disaster subquest completed. Then we can just fight the Cullinomancer. Which, um, not recalling how hard of a fight that will be or not. We'll find out. I think I'll probably hop on VC with Pub Stomp and Accident. While I do this fight, see if we get any good reaction. If it proves to be difficult, we'll find out. Let's see. I'm gonna do the Kamala. boss fight for recipe for disaster now. Get that whole thing done. Gotta get those barrel gloves, right? Right. Best in slot. <laughs> 
I'd see. I think, yeah, it will be my missing slot for a little bit. I'm doing a uh, hunt for the red rock tuber. Oh, nice. You've inspired me today. <laughs> Except I don't have the requirements for the next quest. I'm cooked. Which one are you missing? Uh, I think fishing and crafting. Oh, okay. I really wanted to place a battlefish. <laughs> I think it was that third quest, uh, Some Like It Cold. It gave me a lot of XP. Yeah. I got like five or six levels from that. Across the skills. I don't know why I always expect this boss fight to be hard. It never is. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a Journey Tier 7, too? Okay. That's good. Huh. Alright, well, that's going to be it for today's video. Ending the day, still ranked number one. We've got a little bit of a lead, but it is still a close and competitive race between the top two teams, so we can't be too relaxed with our progress if we want to secure any more world's first broadcasts. I've got a similar day routed out for myself for tomorrow with a lot of quests and important account progression milestones. So if you want to keep up with our rank one competitive group Iron Man journey, please be sure to subscribe as I'll be making a daily video documenting our progress for the next little while. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.